going to be treating the topic of uh, detoxification. For sure, we call it detox. And by detox, we are trying to say, well, let me put it this way. Are you feeling sluggish? Out of sync with your body? Are you struggling with skin problems, aches and uh, pains or digestive problems? Uh, can, you can't seem to lose weight. Uh, perhaps it's time for you to have a body detox. Uh, what is detox or detoxification? It is abstaining from or ridding the body of toxic or unhealthy substances. It is about resting, cleaning, nourishing the body from the inside out to help protect you from disease and renew your ability to maintain optimum health. In this program, we'll be discussing the why, what, when, and how of this very important health topic. Our guest today is Mr. Thorson Meninger of uh, Detox, uh, uh, and he is a coach, he's an author, he's a co-director of Detox Academy. Mr. Thorson Meninger studied neuropathy at the College of Hippo, uh, Hippo, uh, Hippocrates, uh, Hippocrates, uh, Hippocrates, specializing in detox and natural therapy. You have to correct, uh, yeah. give the correct yeah. pronunciation. And he earlier studied food technology, the knowledge of uh, the food industry, and uh, and uh, uh, he's here today to meet our guest. I'd like to say welcome, uh, Mr. Meninger. Good morning. Hello. <laughs> yes, yes. Well, nice to be here. Yes. Well, ladies and gentlemen, uh, we uh, invite you to interrupt our discussion with a call. Uh, the telephone number, as usual, is 020737 We'll be right here to take your calls. Now, uh, Mr. Thorson. Yeah. Is it um, Mr. or Doctor? Uh, Dr. Thorson, right? Thorson, yeah. Dr. Yeah. Thorson, okay. Yeah. Okay. Uh, can you explain to our listeners what exactly uh, is detoxification or detox? Yeah, first I, I would like to explain uh, more about the, the process of why we should detox and um, why our body uh, has to uh, detoxify. Yeah. It is because uh, when, when, when you start your day yeah. and you have your normal, um, uh, you eat your normal food and your cells are uh, producing uh, new cells, yeah. so there you have a waste already. So your body not natural uh, flows out the, the, the stuff which is not used. Yeah. So on top of it we have the um, the rest of the detoxifications, like uh, like our makeup, like our deo, or uh, our environment, or uh, yeah, ladies uh, always knows uh, how to to nourish their body. So there is also a lot of uh, detoxification on it. And if you see the skin as uh, an organ, which takes also this uh, uh, detoxifications uh, into the body yeah. so somehow it has, be, uh, has to be fleshed out mm -hmm. so that's why um, we use on top of our regular uh, body system to stimulate it to de uh, detoxify mm -hmm. so in short what you're going to say is that uh our bodies produce, let's say, let me call it some byproducts yeah. as a result of uh, using up the things we eat or the things we put on ourselves. Yeah. And the byproducts or waste products need to be get gotten rid of. Yeah. And basically, that is detoxification. Yeah. Okay. All right. Uh, how come? It's not something we think of. Uh, but why is that? And this a discipline now that. Uh, you know, you have become a specialist, for, for example. Yeah, um, usually we, we, in, in this times we don't do it a lot. But um, uh, in earlier times, mm -hmm. all religions yeah. have fasting periods. And it means just to stop 
with a few of your daily items, let's say sugar or uh, stop drinking or stop uh, smoking or uh, eat, eat less fat. So all uh, these periods were natural uh, in the early days. But now we are uh, in a rush and we don't uh, take the time to uh, fast or detox our body. Mm. You mentioned in fasting because fasting is a discipline that uh, we practice uh, in, you know, in the church. Yeah. Are you a Christian by the way? No. no. <laughs> <laughs> and so we Christians fast and Muslims also do fast. Um, yeah. and maybe other religio religi religions yeah, also in, practice in, fasting. In every religion, uh -huh. the Jewish religion, every religion has its own fasting period. Yeah, yeah. So you are saying that fasting uh, is a process of detoxification too. Yeah. Can you yeah. explain that a little bit more to our listeners? Yeah, uh, because... And the benefits, of course, uh, of, of a, a fast like that. Um, if, you, if you fast, you give your body uh, or your actually your digestion system the the uh, space. the space to rest yeah. and to clean out. Wow. So uh, uh, high de detoxification will be uh, flooding out, and uh, of course you have to um, f not for everybody it it is uh, okay to fast. Mm -hmm. For example, uh, people who uh, has uh, chronic diseases, they shouldn't fast. They, or they should do a mild treatment of uh, detoxification. Mm -hmm. I see. So there are uh, difference between fasting. Uh, for me, the difference between fasting and detoxification is in fasting you... you uh, you leave some of the foods out mm -hmm. and in detoxification you more focusing on uh, the organs and stimulating the organs to clean out. Okay. Wow. Alright. So, so um, when does one need to consider using or doing detoxification? I advise it uh, to, uh, twice a year. Twice a year. Yeah, and I don't mind if it's in the summer and in, in the winter time. If you can take it in the winter time, uh, it's fine with me. Why the winter time? Uh, usually it is the autumn and uh, the spring, but I prefer uh, the, the, the the summer time because then I have less work. So very practical. Oh, very practical. Okay. And. Um, for me, it's also nice because I'm very skinny and I'm getting uh, a quick cold, so I prefer the, 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 the warm summer. Warm, warm, okay. Yeah. okay, so you're talking about uh, fasting in this case, I mean, as a, as a means of detoxification or detoxifying yourself. That's what, you, that's what you prefer to do it in the spring or in the in summer? The, in the spring and the summer, yeah. In the, in the autumn and in the winter, I, I prefer the mild one, the detoxification, where you uh, stimulate the organs or uh, your, your guts. Mm. Okay, now you, you, you will take us into the process really of uh, detoxifying or detoxification. Um, so now, how is detox actually accomplished? And uh, with which sort of uh, treatment or medication or diet? How, how is it done? Uh, there are different uh, ways. Um, you have uh, the, the herbals, yeah. which can stimulate the kidney or the liver um, uh, to, to clean out. Um, you have also um, food, mm. which stimulates uh, uh, the detoxification. It is uh, like uh, artichoke. Mm -hmm. It's very stimulating for the, for the liver, mm -hmm. and um, so you can do it by uh, herbs mm -hmm. or supplements, yeah. or you can do it with uh, food. 
and then uh, you're doing a treatment of 10 or more days. Mm. Wow, interesting. Well, if you're listening to this program and uh, you have a question or remark for Dr. Thorson, Dr. Uh, Thorson uh, please give us a call on 0207371619. If you are feeling not so nice in your body, uh, especially if you feel like some kind of tiredness, maybe you should tell us some of the symptoms that people, when they begin to feel, it's a sign that they need to really consider detoxification. Yeah. Now, tiredness is one. Yeah. Um, skin problems. Skin problems. How, yeah. how do you mean? Uh, like acne. Okay. okay. Um, then, um, yeah, low energy. Low energy. Um, all kind of uh, uh, starting diseases, like um, I, I can't think of uh, some uh, make up the one and none. Right away. Uh -huh. Yeah. Okay. But okay, tiredness, low energy, acne, skin problems. Yeah. Some of those are indications that uh, somebody should uh, should consider de detoxifying. Or doing detox. Yeah. Um, now, so you, you said also that uh, to accomplish it, to actually do a detox, you need you, you can do it herbally. Yeah. What kind of herbs are uh, used in this case? It uh, uh, depends on which organ you want to stimulate. Yeah. Um, I don't know the the English yeah. word of brandnetel. Okay, I don't know that either. Uh, nettle. Um, Is it, kind of is it available in the shops? In the, where do you get those? Is it in the in the oh. herbal shop? Uh, like thyme, uh, thyme, something. Grapefruit is uh, uh, very good for the for the liver, or Grapefruit. also uh, artichoke. Mm. Okay. And uh, you have to be careful with uh, so much to stimulate the liver. For instance, if you're taking some uh, medicines. The uh, they will be flushed out through the liver. So, uh, f for instance, if you have, uh, if you are on uh, antidepressants, yeah, uh, you shouldn't do it mm. for especially the, the cleaning the liver because you need a kind of level in in the blood. Yeah, and if you're stimulating uh, the the liver too much. Yeah. It will be flashed out, and you also read it on on uh, on the medication. Uh, often they say don't use uh, grapefruit. Really? Yeah. Mm -hmm. I haven't encountered that yet. Okay, so uh, herbally you can use uh, like the, what you mentioned. Say it again. What is, what is the medication again? The herb the herb to use for detoxification. Um, the Dutch word is uh, brandnetel. Brandnetel. Yeah. Brand needle, whatever that is, we'll have to find out the English equivalent. Um, so you can use that to, to, to detoxify. Yeah. You also said that grapefruits are helpful. Yeah. To, to detox. Detox. Yeah, absolutely. Yeah. Oh, I noticed that when I take grapefruit a lot, I, I know I, I go to the waste quite a bit. I notice that sometimes. So that is the effect of, uh, that is a, a detoxifying effect of grapefruits. Yeah. That's it is right. interesting. Yeah. yeah. And uh, and uh, if you don't do it through herbals, then you do it uh, with your food. Yeah. Uh, so you leave certain uh, certain things out of your normal food pattern, yeah. like uh, meat mm -hmm. or all um, proteins. You leave it for a while, like t let's say t ten days or three weeks. Yeah. And then slowly you you add it again. And um, this is one of the uh, uh, items which I describe in, in my new book uh, when you leave the, the proteins aside. What do you mean bro broccoli? Proteins. Oh, proteins. 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 From, from, uh, from, from meat. Yeah. And you have also proteins and plants. Yes. Uh, but they are... Um, you you can leave them. Uh, you 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 can't leave them out for too long. Yeah, mm. for too long. 
So you are saying to detoxify using your food, I mean through your food, yeah. you can leave out certain things out of your meal like uh, 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 proteins and yeah. what's the other thing you mentioned? A fish. Fish. And um, you, you can add more um, uh, vegetables. Yeah. So you you creating a, a, a balance again mm -hmm. in, in your body. And of course eating a lot of fibers, mm -hmm. which also cleans your your digestive system. system. Mm -hmm. And uh, drinking a lot of water, mm -hmm. it's very important. Also uh, uh, moving mm -hmm. your body, or just walking uh, or uh, being outside. Yes. All that helps. Yeah. Okay. Um, now you spoke about herbs and our food. Now, uh, what about the supplements? What kind of supplements uh, can we use to detoxify one's body? Um, you can um, you can use uh, supplements uh, for uh, for for instance um, for heavy metals. Uh, to clean, especially it's chlorella. It's uh, um, um, how do you call it? It grows in the water. Yeah. So, uh, 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 elk. Say you say elk. It grows in water. Yeah. I don't know. Is that, is that a Dutch name? Your uh, Dutch uh, name you call it? Yeah, seaweed. 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 Uh, <laughs> okay, so supplements are made out of seaweed, you, you mean? Yeah, chlorella, uh, in, for instance, is okay. one of them. What? The? It's one of them. Okay, I see. Okay, so which are, the, are there other supplements that you think our listeners should know about? Um, be, if you're using herbal... Uh, Herbs for for detoxification. Yeah. Just check it with uh, with your doctor or with a, a natural path. Mm -hmm. Okay. So be careful with it. It it is so easily said. From uh, I do a detox, mm -hmm. and uh, it, it a detox is um, your your whole body and your whole organs will be stimulated mm -hmm. and it can uh, do the wrong thing. Mm -hmm. For instance, what I mentioned, if you uh, use uh, some um, pills for uh, depression, yeah. the, uh, the, uh, depression, so be careful with it. Okay, uh, let's, let's, in a very, very ordinary and a domestic setting, where let's say somebody decided to take uh, laxative, you know laxative, laxative to to, yeah. to cleanse the system and to pass stool freely. Yeah. If somebody takes a laxative like uh, Ducolax, is that also a form of detoxification? I I don't know Ducolax. Uh, yeah, it's from a pharmacy. You get it from the apothecary. Yeah. It, it's a form of a laxative. Yeah. You know yeah. what I mean by laxative? Yeah. Yeah. Okay. Yeah. Uh, you have uh, also herbals which which do the same, same. same. and uh, you have the uh, the the uh, how do you call it uh, magnesium salt yes. which also stimulates that, the uh, is that still available? We used to have the one with kids. Uh, my father used to give us that. Uh, is that still available? Magnesium, magnesium salt? Yeah. In yeah. The pharmacy. Yeah. Okay. Mm, not really in in, uh, uh, in in the shops. Yeah. You have really to look for it. Really? Yeah. Yeah. Why is it so scarce? One, if it's a very important uh, medicine. I don't know. They probably uh, it's uh, it's not that they get enough uh, uh, money out of it. <laughs> so for commercial reasons. Yeah. Okay. Yeah. 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 So. Uh, well, what our speaker is saying is that uh, the body does need detoxification uh, from time to time yeah. uh, because of the things we take in, uh, I mean, the environment we're in, all kinds of things which enter our system. 
and so you need to detoxify and that detoxification can be done one or the body can be stimulated to to, to, to get into a detox mode uh, one with herbs uh, certain herbs are very helpful for that uh, and also uh, you can do it through the food you eat certain things you put in your food you can you can take it out for a while maybe about after about three weeks yeah uh, especially a lot, a lot of meat you can take it out uh, and so that you give the body a chance to to detoxify and also he spoke about fasting when you fast actually uh, certain periods you actually give the body the space to cleanse itself out uh, I mean in the churches we teach this and so we do it, we know that fasting does those beautiful things you know yeah. cleanses the body very well yeah so uh, absolutely that. and um, what the, the, the only the only thing what you should consider if you fast is that uh, if you do it just uh, don't stop uh, on on a certain day and uh, go fasting just slowly slowly go grow, go grow through the process How to fasting let that more clearly. Uh, le, le, for example, I have a, a, what, what I hear a lot of people is that, that they start a fasting and it's 12 o'clock in the evening and from uh, the next morning they don't eat anymore. What you actually do is you smash your, your body with a shock, like you don't eat anymore. <laughs> and what does your body does is getting resisted. So the resistance yeah. makes that that your body still holds everything. Oh. So you you <laughs> have to break through the, uh, the through the system to make make it soft. So yeah. you, you actually, what you do is you start slowly building up the process uh, to the point of fasting. Mm. You smaller your your meal. Uh, you leave out the proteins yes. and then you leave out the, the grains and then you fix you, you focus on on, 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 the, on the greens mm. so slowly slowly and this process should take about five or six days mm. and then then you start with the first day of fasting mm -hmm. yeah and then I don't know how long you in in the church you you fast, but uh, if for for detoxification, you should take uh, four or five days, and then build the process up again. Okay. So what you do in building up to the point of fasting, mm -hmm. you also uh, on the end you build it up to your regular uh, meal mm. again. So it's. It's just uh, the same process, but the other way around. Yes. Okay, but the fact of the matter is that in the church, we, we don't fast that way. Uh, and in fact, over the years, we have been fasting this way. Let's say in the church, we say we declare a week of fasting and prayer. And so, so we don't take, we skip our meals, in, let's say, throughout That's the day. So and maybe in the evening, we, 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 we eat again. Like the most yeah. do, almost yeah. like that. Uh -huh. Uh, but we only the most of them they eat in the morning, early in the morning, uh, and then they fast the rest of the day until well, maybe sunset before they break the fast. Yeah. Uh, we if we take the last meal maybe uh, in the night, yeah, the previous night, and then the rest of the, we, don't, we don't take anything until yeah. the next day. There are times when we fast without even eating at all, or we just drink water or something like that. Mm -hmm. Yeah. We deny the body of food totally. But of course, we notice many times that in those processes, uh, the body, of course, adjusts. Yeah. Our bodies are able to adjust. Maybe they, they, our bodies are used to that you know, system. Uh, I, and, and, and I think what helps is that you are uh, in the church and that it, you do it, it collectively. Yeah. That more, you have more support. You yeah. don't do it in your own at, no. at home. No. So and it's it's a it's a it's a short period. Mm -hmm. So it is different from what I uh, what I described, and uh, um, I don't know the, the reasons behind uh, uh, 
your fasting in the church, but yeah, it, it is for well, fasting is usually for a spiritual purpose. Like, uh, yeah, you want to, you know, be able to pray better or, or concentrate on God, you know, or to gain a, a deeper understanding of the Bible, or you want to, to ask God to intervene in a matter for you. You know, you want a miracle, okay. so to speak. Yeah. Uh huh. So these are spiritual reasons for fasting. You know, so <coughs> so your 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 spirit is triggered. Uh, you know, uh, to, 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 to 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 become more responsive or yeah. sensitive. You know, but the fasting, which of course we are talking about from a medical point of view, it only focuses on the body, cleansing the body. So we gain two benefits: a spiritual benefit and also a physical. Benefit. Benefit. Yes. Absolutely. Yeah. So, and and uh, uh, when when I do the, uh, uh, fasting weeks, yeah. I, I see uh, uh, three um, uh, different points: the physical part, and the emotional part, mm -hmm. and then you have the spiritual part. Yeah. You have all three parts yeah. which are. Uh, Address. Yeah, but you, you, you don't fast for spiritual purposes because you said you are not a Christian. So I, I assume that you only fast for the emotional and the. And I also uh, fast for spiritual.